Now, let me discuss about the class 1C agents. Now, if you see the mechanism of action of these 1C agents, as such, they have the property of the class 1 antiarrhythmic drugs, that is, the sodium channel blocking effects. But the point what you should remember is, these agents, they have most potent sodium channel blocking effects. Right? So, these drugs, they have most potent sodium channel right most potent sodium channel blocking effect all right next now a point is now how did we classify the class 1 agents again class 1 we have classified into a b and c depending upon their action on the potassium channels you take class 1a agents they were closing the potassium channels you take class 1b agents they were opening the potassium channels whereas you take class 1c agents they have negligible effect on the potassium channels right they have negligible effect on the potassium channels right they have negligible effect on the potassium channels now a point what you should remember is because they have negligible effect on the potassium channels therefore there is no effect on the action potential duration of this class 1c agents okay so therefore right therefore there is no effect on Right? There is no effect on the action potential duration. Now, this class 1C agents, they have a slow kinetics. Right? They have slow kinetics. So, that is more than 10 seconds. Right? That is more than 10 seconds. Now, you need to know what are the drugs in this class 1C agents. The drugs in class 1C agents include... One is flecainide, and then you have enkenide, right? You have what is called flecainide, and then you have enkenide, and then you have morisizin, and as well as propafenol. So you have propafenone, and the other drug what you have is morisizin. So these are the antiarrhythmic drugs in class 1C. Now a point what you should remember regarding class 1C is these drugs they have maximum right these drugs they have maximum pro arrhythmic right these drugs they have maximum pro arrhythmic property. Now, this is a very important point what I am going to tell you. Because they have maximum pro property, therefore, these class 1C agents, they are indicated only for the resistant and life-threatening ventricular tachycardias or ventricular fibrillations. Okay. So, right. So, they are indicated for Right, they are indicated for resistant and right resistant and life threatening ventricular arrhythmias. Right, they are indicated for resistant and life threatening ventricular arrhythmias. And this ventricular arrhythmias include either ventricular tachycardia or the ventricular fibrillation. Now, not only for the ventricular arrhythmias, these are also indicated for the treatment of refractory supraventricular tachycardia, right, also indicated for right, also indicated for refractory 
supraventricular tachycardia. Now, you take the drug, right? That is flecainide. So, if you take this flecainide, right? If you see this particular flecainide, remember this flecainide can be used for acute treatment of Wolf Parkinson's White syndrome, right? This can be used for Right, this can be used for the acute treatment of Wolf Parkinson's White Syndrome. Now, what is your WPW syndrome? WPW syndrome, this is one of the pre-excitation syndrome. Right, there is presence of an accessory bundle in patients with the Wolf Parkinson's White Syndrome. Right, normally in between the SA node and AV node, you have anterior, middle and as well as posterior internodal fibers. Whereas in WPW syndrome, apart from these three internodal fibers between SA node and AV node, there is an accessory bundle from the SA node directly to the ventricle. So, in such clinical scenario of WPW syndrome, for the acute treatment, what we give is flecainide. But if you take the treatment of choice in case of WPW syndrome, the treatment of choice for WPW syndrome is radiofrequency ablation of the aberrant pathway, right? So, the treatment of choice is radiofrequency ablation, right? The treatment of choice is the radiofrequency ablation of that accessory bundle or it is also called as the aberrant pathway. Right, also called as the aberrant pathway.